This video is a continuation of the previous elevation render video. Previously, we scanned in an image that we did by hand and laid it over our SketchUp elevation and made some modifications in Photoshop. What I'm doing right now is I'm getting my materials from my floor plan render I did previously and my SketchUp model, and I put it into my Photoshop file here. I'm going to start coloring this image, so I'd like to have those materials in there for that. So I have my paint spec over to the left, you can see. And when I found that on the Sherman Williams website, I also screen captured the thumbnails of the similar colors below that, just in case I wanted to change the color from what I had thought I wanted previously. So I'm picking the tone from my floor and adding that to the shelves and the door here, because I know I want that to be kind of that uh, rustic would look. And I'm using some of that tone to add to my shadows as well. Because since I laid in my paint color, definitely need to add a little bit more color to the shadow. And this refrigerator needs some bounce lights, so I usually we call this warm and cool. So when you're rendering, think about the warm colors bouncing up from the floor. So most floors are warm tone colors. That's going to bounce up and reflect off of any shiny surface. And then I'm also using some blue here to go over my windows. And I'm going to use some of that on my refrigerator and on the wall near the window as well. So you can see when I zoom in, part of that refrigerator was uh, blue, and there's also some brown tone in there. So that helps kind of colorize things overall from the, the gray marker sketch that we did. And I know these cabinets are darker than what I had sketched, so I'm just kind of filling those in and also keeping it kind of more in a brown tone. And I also need some highlights here for my cabinetry and my shelves. This is my favorite part of the rendering because you really get to see it take off. It really starts to take shape at this point. And now I'm getting some wood grain in here. And I'll need some wood grain on my pantry door as well. I'm just keeping it loose, overstroking the area, and just erase out what you don't need. And even if it looks too much, like if it looks too scratchy, you can always erase some of that out. And as I'm doing this, I'm just looking for areas that need touch up. Adding more shadow in, so there's kind of a recessed area, and there's a, a light on the left side. So with that, there's going to be a little bit of a shadow there casted. And I'm also pulling out my refrigerator a little bit more making it pop out in 3D by giving it some depth with some more shadow. Getting some more tone in on the glass to help that read and deleting out areas I don't need. And now I'm just adding some texture in. I changed my brush to more of a textural brush. So there might be a, a knockdown texture, orange peel, on this wall. So I'm kind of simulating that. 
with this textural brush and I don't want to go too heavy with it but just a little bit of texture there. I also have a couple can lights in this elevation and I'm going to make one and then just copy it over to the other spot once I have what I like and change the opacity of it and you can also scale it play around with it get what you want so it still looks a little bit too contrived to me so I'm going to try to get some more uh, lines in there some more depth it's starting to look better just with that one stroke Okay, and I'm also going to get some light in here from my exterior source. Again, using some blue to help give that cast of the exterior light. And now I need to get my backsplash tile in here. So I'm just going to kind of scale this to roughly what I think the size would be. And I need to make this texture larger than what it is, so I need to kind of tile it some more. You just need to make sure it overlaps in the right area so it's a clean tile. And delete out the area that you don't need. So this side needs a little bit more, so I just copied that layer and dragged it into the spot and then deleted out what I didn't need. Now I just need to make this fit in, because I already rendered my shadows previously, and so if it's just sitting there without any shadow, it's going to look artificial. So I'm going to draw over top of this again, just to make this fit with the scene. And I'm going to give it some depth with the lines here. In reality, there'd probably be some sort of edge or pencil tile. But we don't need to be that detailed for the time being, just for our concept render. I'm pulling this marble section from my floor plan because I also need this little piece of the backsplash. So I have like a four inch section in the back of the counter that's marble. So I got what I needed and just deleted out what I didn't want anymore. Now I need to give this a little bit of depth. So we got our material and color in place, and in the next video, we're going to accessorize this shot a little bit and add a figure to it.